Hey everyone, welcome to this Windows 8 uh, channel video and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, I would probably give the title of this video um, Where's my USB key? <laughs> um, a lot of people have difficulty finding their USB thumb drives very often. Now, um, no drivers are required, well yes drivers are required but they're all integrated into Windows 8 for USB thumb drives. So you don't need to install anything. It pretty much installs itself the first time you plug in your USB thumb drive. But the problem in Windows 8 is the multiple ways that a USB thumb drive can be used. Um, and a lot of people can't find a thumb drive if there's no automatic process. Example, I'll plug in my USB thumb drive here, which is a 8 gigabyte uh, Kingston Data Traveler. When I plug it in, I actually have an audible sound, first of all, and I have this pop-up. It actually gives me my files on the USB drive right away with File Explorer. Now, a lot of people say they plug in your, their USB thumb drive and nothing happens. When nothing happens, where do you go to view your thumb drive? Well, the answer is quite simple, File Explorer. So if you have uh, a touch device and you use the touch, the start screen, then um, look for the File Explorer tile, or if you don't see it, you can search for it and just type File Explorer. This will bring you to the File Explorer window. Uh, if you use the desktop mode, you might have a file explorer already in your taskbar at the bottom. If not, then of course just you know search for the file explorer uh, by going into your uh, search. So uh, once you're in the file explorer, you should see your thumb drive in that window. So for example here, I see it here as Kingston F. And it might have a different name because depending on the manufacturer and your thumb drive, it'll have different names. You can actually name it whatever you want. And um, that's the first step. Once you see it there, you know that it exists. You can click on it and see what's on your drive. So here I have, for example, office files. Now, if you want to transfer stuff to your Kingston or to your USB thumb drive, just remember the letter associated with it. So here it's Kingston. F. So anything you want to put on your drive is simple. All you have to do is go into, for example, the File Explorer, uh, click whatever um, place you want to go to put something. For example, I have two videos here on the top that I'd like to put on the drive. What I'll do, I'll simply uh, click on the files, choose them, and right click to simply send to Kingston F. And once you do that, you'll see that the transfer will go on with the thumb drive. So that's pretty much how it works. So the File Explorer is a spot where you'll see the thumb drive if there's nothing happening. Now, one question that might come to mind because it does happen, what ha what, what, why can't I see my thumb drive? Or um, I go to the File Explorer, thumb drive is not there. Well, that is another type of problem. One, there are multiple reasons actually why a USB thumb drive is not showing on your computer. First of all, if it doesn't work, uh, try it in another USB port on your computer. Uh, sometimes just changing to another USB port makes it work and everything goes well. So try another USB. If you have a, uh, a tower, if you're using a tower you know, a desktop computer, then, um, you know, try the USB ports on the back of the computer instead of the ones that are in the front of your computer, for example. Uh, these are all little things I can do. If you have a laptop, change a USB. If, it, if you don't see it, maybe if you have USB drives uh, or ports on each side of your laptop, why not change side and try it on another one? That's something to do. Now, if nothing still happens, the other thing you should do is take your thumb drive and plug it into another computer. Thumb drives, unfortunately, have a high failure rate. 
I've uh, used a lot of thumb drives over the year um, by going to the clients and I can tell you that thumb drives are often failing so uh, that's why you don't want to have uh, you know some files only on a thumb drive you want them on something else you want to keep them on your computer a lot of people make the mistake of putting the files on the thumb drive but not keeping a copy anywhere else well that's a very bad habit and last but not least remember one thing about the thumb drive is you got to eject your drive before you take it out of the USB port and a lot of people don't know that they just take it out that's not how you do it you know if you're not ejecting before you take out the drive what can happen is that the the, the file system on the drive will get messed up and you might lose your files actually so you got to be careful it's not going to break the USB drive at all but um, you might lose data and you might need to reformat the drive so uh, that's one thing to uh, to check for how do you eject well on the bottom on the task bar there's um, often you, you don't see the eject showing up on the taskbar if you don't there's a little arrow that shows hidden icons and if you click there you'll see different icons and one of them is safely remove hardware and eject media click on that it's like a mini USB plug and just eject your drive so here I'm gonna eject data traveler 2 and that's it that's how you remove the hardware once it's done if you look at the file explorer you'll see that the drive is disappeared my Kingston drive isn't there anymore it's actually removed from the system and now you can manually and safely remove that drive from your computer and it's easy as that so I uh, hope these little tips help hope that you found your thumb drive if you couldn't find it and um, if it doesn't show up well, try these little tricks and remember that USB thumb drives can uh, have defective uh, chips. Also, something that's, um, that does happen from time to time is a mismatch between the USB uh, controllers of your computer and the USB controller of the thumb drive. All of these little details sometimes can uh, make a difference. So, hope that it helped you in finding and using your thumb drive. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe you have a video, something you'd like us to make a video of, let us know. We'll try to post that video online. So, thank you for watching. Bye bye.